Okay, so today we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about today about religion. Today topic is about religion. And the first question is, let me put some good music, okay? Uh, it is called O oh, Fortuna. O oh, Fortuna. Do you guys know this O oh, Fortuna? Yes. It's called O oh, Fortuna. Yep. Hey, it's Bob Diamond, America's tax sale attorney, and I want to show you how one of our members collected these checks. So now today, not- today now we're going to talk about religion. Today topic is about religion. <laughs> But, but, Peter is here. Peter, there are too many Peters and John is here. So now let's go. Opa, here it is me. (laughs) Now let's hear this great song of... You know what I'm doing, guys? I'm waiting for my coffee. I have a waiter. They will serve me my coffee. I show you now. Watch this. You see? You see over there behind me, behind me, if you can see, this is Starbucks. I come here every day. I will show you now. Let me show you. This is Starbucks, and there I have a personal waiter that will deliver a coffee for me today. Coffee and tea. I'm going to stick with the tea today. No more coffee and no more uh, no more coffee. And here there is an air conditioning. Look at this guy. These are the people that are singing, yeah, you see? Yep. So now, look at these people. They are singing in a big place. You can sing with me, guys. Everybody can sing with me. So, this was uh, O Fortuna. O Fortuna. So now let's talk about religion. Today, today, <laughs> today I woke up and I start doing uh, hand washing about of these things. If I can show you, I have these things. They are not here because I wash them. These are mechanics, the mechanics uh, towels, towels, and I try to wash them because I don't like waste, you know. So I, I wash my mechanics uh microfiber towels and and my wife told me oh thanks god you are washing them today i was thinking to wash them yesterday but i did not because it was a christian uh whatever christian thing that you should not be doing washing in what was yesterday yeah some religious thing you know uh in other words Yesterday was a Saturday, whatever day, and if you are a Christian, you should not be doing washing. The fastest you know? and easiest way to make money in real estate today is not what you think. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact strategy. I it is my friend. He is teaching people how to make money in real estate, and I'm listening to him, and I'm watching him. Uh, anyway, so, uh, so the thing is that she told me that uh, uh, I am doing well because I'm washing them in Saturday. 
and I say, wait a minute, why, by which religion I should not be doing this activities? And she told me by the Christian Orthodox. And I said, uh, well, wait a minute, I'm not Christian Orthodox, I'm a Jew. And she was like, what, you are a Jew? Yeah, I say, yeah, I'm a Jew. And by the way, <laughs> by the way, I don't even know what I am, you know. Uh, let's say, uh, assume that I come from Christian Orthodox, Christian Orthodox place, which is Bulgaria. But in Bulgaria, but in my country, we really don't know what we are. We don't really know what we are because for 500 years, we was uh, under the Turkish Ottoman Empire. So maybe I'm Turk. Maybe I'm Jewish. Maybe I'm a Russian. Maybe I'm Slavic. Maybe I'm, if we trace all the way back the Bulgarian thing, that would be, uh, I would be Thracian. Okay, they, they, these are Thracian people. In the in the time of the Greek, in the time of the Greeks, there was also the Thracian tribes. And uh, anyway, so you don't know what it is. You don't know who you are, but you're constrained by your religion. So if you are a religion, religious person, you should not certain things in that day and certain things in that day. And thanks God, <laughs> thanks God, she told me because otherwise I would have, I would have made a big mistake, you know, like, who knows, it's it's very dangerous to wash the mechanic uh, fiber fiber uh, wipes, you know, to rewash them in Saturday. So, now if you're a religious person, you should probably have these problems yourself, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, John is asking me where I am today. Today is Saturday. I may go to... I may go to Pennsylvania today. Maybe it's going to be Pennsylvania or maybe it's going to be uh, north towards Canada. Who knows where I'm going to be. Uh, every day I will be somewhere, you know, but for the moment, for the moment, I will be in New York. In New York, I'm in Brooklyn. I'm going to make my daily vlog in my channel, Why Not Ask. There I discuss very important things, you know, about the future of humanity. Yesterday I made a video and you guys maybe see this video. Uh, I'm, uh, I came up with a machine to uh, cut plastic waste. This is a big invention. There's only five people watching or three or five people watching, but this is a big invention. So uh, I did not invent it, but since I can put many things together, I will invent it. That's how it is going to work. First, I'm going to raise the money. That is a big challenge. I'm going to raise the money. Before I raise the money about this machine, I will have to... I will have to create a promotional material. I'm good at that. I'm going to create a promotional material, a little documentary movie about the plastic waste in the world. And then at the end of the movie, I will present my solution. And then this will go in Kickstarter. Once it gets into Kickstarter, I'm going to pledge. I'm going to ask. I'm going to be begging these people for about $2 million. That's not a big sum of money for the idea that I have. Now, once I get this $2 million, if I get the $2 million, I will not start doing the machine. I will put these $2 million back in the, in the, in the, in the same idea, and I will try to get $20 million out of this $2 million. The $2 million, if I get to this $2 million, it will be just proof of concept that I can fund, raise money. That is a big challenge, you know, like uh, if you are in business, one of the, the most important thing is to learn how to raise money, raise money, because business is always hungry. It's always like the beast, like the beast. You have to feed the beast. If you have a business, if you have a business, I have a few businesses, by the way. <laughs> if you have a business, these are little beasts. They always want money. You make like $500 or $5,000 today or $10,000 today. Or one million and tomorrow you are broke. That's a good thing in business, you know. But the business itself is like a beast. So you have to feed the beast. So now let me go back to the machine. Now the machine is simply uh, like a machine that will save the world flora from the plastic waste. And it will put money in the everybody's pocket, including you. You will be surprised. But this machine, when this machine end up in your house, you will start making money, believe it or not. Uh, and that is the machine... So, uh, that's the plan. And it's a very re religious thing. You have to take this uh, business with, with the desire, with almost like a religious fanatism, 
you have to be fanatic. You have to be uh, very fanatic with your ideas. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You have to be your own Jesus within your own company, project, idea, or whatever. If you're not your own Jesus, trust me, nobody will follow you. So you have to start calling these people. If you, I see here like pretty decent people here are watching this, you know, like they smart people. I know these are smart people. Peter is Peter is smart. Another Peter is also smart guy. John is, John Mangarella is super smart guy. Plamen is super smart. Evgeny, these are Alexander. These these people, I know them personally. Stancho, Stanislav is friend of mine. Alex Putapov is also super smart guy. So here I am to tell you, about this thing, guys. Uh, it is very important to be your own Jesus or to be your own Buddha or to be your own, I don't know, the Shiva. <laughs> or you have to be like super religious about your uh, idea. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And that is the talk about religion today. And from now, I will cut the video because it's... Uh, it's important to be short. You know, many people don't have the attention span. They do have attention span deficit. <laughs> they don't have what is it required to succeed in, in the idea. And that is the reality. So you guys watching me here, thank you so much for watching me. And uh, if you have any idea, this is my... This is my uh, point here that started as a religious topic. You have to be literally like a religious fanatic, not just a religious guy. That will not cut it. You know, you have to be religious fan fanatic, fanatic about your idea and business. And that's it. And don't let, don't let little things, don't let little things get in your way you know the little things they come like by the dozens every day we wake up and uh, like the first thing i woke up this morning and i start washing my uh, uh napkins to clean my car and my wife told me yeah you should you should, but you should not do this, do this and that and that and i said yeah okay okay <laughs> but uh that is it be fanatical about your ideas and uh, I see you again. Thank you. And oh, by the way, oh, by the way, uh, just to, to promote my channel. Uh, actually, I do have six channels for the moment in YouTube. They are not, you know, they are not very popular. They are not very cool, but uh, I'm going to make them cool later on. And that's it. So one of the channel is like that. I joke around with people, uh, but as well, there are some deep thinking there. Uh, it's called Why Not Ask. It's a great idea. You know, why not ask in YouTube? You go and subscribe to this thing. Thank you so much.